So when, where, and how do you photograph the solar eclipse in 2024? First of all, the when. The solar eclipse is going to be starting around April 8th, 2024. This means that you likely need to set up in the morning. Why this is, is because if you don't set up in the morning, you're not going to be able to be prepared and catch the solar eclipse when it's actually happening. Solar eclipses only typically last a few minutes. So now we're going to talk about where the solar eclipse is going to be happening. This is a whole entire chart to show you where exactly the solar eclipse is going to be happening. Also, make sure to take into consideration what the weather is going to be like where you're photographing the solar eclipse. If you're photographing the solar eclipse with clouds, that's okay, but if it's completely cloud covered, you're not going to be able to see it well at all. A little bit of clouds can add for some cinematic effects in the final picture, but you don't want a ton of clouds to where it's completely blocking the sun and the moon from eclipsing. If it's going to be completely cloudy during the eclipse where you're at, then I would definitely recommend going somewhere else if you can. But make sure the total solar eclipse is actually happening where you're planning on going to. Now to the big one, how exactly do you photograph the solar eclipse? The first thing you'll definitely need is a solar filter in a telescope or otherwise a camera lens and definitely a camera like of choice a DSLR preferably but um, yes you'll definitely definitely need a solar filter because if you don't use one it may be tempting even though it's kind of dim if you don't use a solar filter it's going to completely ruin the sensor and also maybe some of your optics as well when you're doing the solar eclipse you also will probably need to take tons of images you can't just take one image you need to stack a ton of them together to get reduced noise and also increase detail this is a very crucial step in doing uh, astrophotography so you need to stack 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 as many frames as you can if you're in into photography already or astrophotography already you probably know about stacking already so i don't need to go too in depth with that You'll also probably need an intervalometer if I didn't mention that already, because that will allow you to take multiple images without you standing out there and clicking the button and getting shaken and everything. So make sure when you're taking pictures of the solar eclipse, you actually wear eclipse glasses. That way your eyes don't get burned by the sun when you're trying to frame everything up. And the most crucial thing is do not wait. If you wait around for the solar eclipse to come and then you set up, I've done this in the past with astrophotography stuff. It has not worked out well because when you don't set up early enough, you don't have a good of a chance of catching the thing you wanted to catch because you weren't prepared for it. And especially because solar eclipses are really, really short, you definitely need to be prepared. Now you're not gonna get details like you see in the sun, like with some of those images, because it takes a really expensive solar telescope to do that. And if you don't have one of those telescopes, you're basically gonna get maybe a few sunspots here and there, but nothing too crazy. But that's a pretty long way away. And also right now, Venus is almost gone. So if you wanna see how I took pictures of Venus or the cloud details and everything, there is a video right here. If you like my video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.